Hello, YouTube. How your mama? How your sisters? How your brothers? How your friends? I'm back again. So, um, I got, I'm mixing up the shrimp. I think I changed my, I am going to cook the salmon. I got it sitting over here in this marinade. I'm going to cook the salmon, get it prepped up for the tacos, but I don't think I'm going to make the tacos today. I think I'm just going to be simple because I want to eat these, cook these shrimp up too. So, I'm, and um, I'm going to make a shrimp burger. And so I got my shrimp all seasoned up. Put a little, I put mayonnaise in there, believe it or not. Yes. I was going to try to fry them, but. Um. Um. But I put a little Goya seasoning in there. I put a little um, Caribbean jerk sauce in there. So, we are gonna see what it's gonna do. Now, shrimp burger usually comes with lettuce and tomato, but I have coleslaw. I might chop up some celery. Got a couple onions. I'm gonna put the onions in the coleslaw. The celery in the coleslaw, call it a day. And then the shrimp. I probably should have got a tomato, but it is what it is. I'm not gonna do that. So, I have, if you look at my other video, you know that I already had prepped up. Um, I'm gonna chop a couple of onions, some cooked onions. Nah, that's good enough. Um, chop a couple of onions, some Until, uh, until, I don't even know what I'm saying. Anyways, so yeah, I got it all seasoned up, salt, pepper. Actually, I don't think I put no salt in it. That's enough, because I'm trying to cut back some salt, y'all. Seriously. I got Old Bay in here, a little teriyaki sauce. Ter no, jerk. Jerk sauce. Because I wanted to have a little bit of a little kick, you know? It's a little kick. Okay. And I got that same sauce on the salmon. Now the salmon I'm gonna cook so it's already cooked up and eat it for tomorrow. I'm gonna make coleslaw. So pretty much I'm almost like I'm meal prepping for the week because I'm not gonna be going out and eating and I'm not gonna just be doing that. Uh, I'm not gonna be doing going out and doing all the extra shit. I'm gonna put a little lime in here too, since we let's just make it consistent, you know. Um, I might make this a little hot. I might put a little, put one or two jalapenos in there. Give it a little kick. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I got two little jalapenos, which they don't smell hot no more. I think they're losing me. These are pickled jalapenos. They don't smell hot, but I'm sure they are. We'll get a little kick in there. Because, you know, the coleslaw is going to be mild in flavor. You know, not have no spice to it. So, that's what we're gonna do. I chop them up a little real quick, put them in there. This is what it looked like. I would have really liked to fry these, but you know, frying shit is not the way to go. I know, I know. But I'm country, I'm just from some southern, I like my stuff fried. But, you know, I'm trying to live a better life. So, now I'm gonna chop up some of this celery because, and I'm gonna have to go wash it off real quick, rinse it off, you know you got to rinse y'all vegetables, right? And to be honest with y'all, I didn't know you had to rinse mushrooms. I didn't know you were supposed to rinse them off. So I don't know 
one eight whenever E. coli or whatever else, which I know it's not. You kill a lot. That's on mushrooms, but I don't eat whatever was on the mushrooms before. So, and I got this celery, so I want to get rid of it because I had to buy a whole pack. If you know they don't sell. So I'm gonna put this in my coleslaw. So I'm gonna make coleslaw for today, right now, and coleslaw. Or tomorrow. So I'm going ahead and making this shit up because then that way I don't have to cook for the rest of the week. Well, not, not for the rest of the week, but you know, for a little while. Now, I'm gonna cook half this salmon and use it for my tacos. And then I'm gonna make, and then the shrimp, I'm making for my, um, shrimp burger for today so this where we going with that um how y'all been doing so at some point i'm gonna get on the better level i'm gonna have my stuff set up i'm gonna be ready to film and better areas better things you know just better quality everything. But until then, this is all we got, baby. This is all we got, little babies. Now, how's everybody doing out there in this world? It's a hard out here for a pimp. I know, I know it's hard out here for a pimp. It's hard out here for me. It's hard out here trying to be healthy and eat right. It's hard. It's trying to tell y'all. Trying to tell y'all. Trying to tell y'all. Okay, y'all can't see my face. Let me turn it up a little bit. It's hard out here for a pen. Okay, so I cut those pieces down. I'm trying to cut the celery as small as I can get it without overdoing it. Okay. I don't know if a cold saw gets onions, but that's what mine is going to get. So I'm going to go get a bowl real quick. I thought I had everything I needed. That's me. You always think you have everything you need. And the good thing about this stuff is, it's all stuff that can be put in the refrigerator and kept those in for a couple days. So, I'm trying to use all this stuff up so that nothing goes bad. So, cold flour. I need enough for today and tomorrow, so I put that much in my bowl. All right, I'm gonna take, that's a little bit of onion. Maybe I should chop a little more. If you like me and you like onions, go on and chop a little more. Don't sell yourself short, you know yourself. I'm about to chop my whole fucking finger off. I don't know if y'all can see that. I'm about to chop my whole finger off. I'm gonna put some lime in there too. Why not? Lime and everything. I never had coleslaw, but I don't really care for coleslaw, y'all. Ain't that crazy? But I think it's good on, it's better than having lettuce on seafood and stuff. I don't know, I feel like it goes. So I understand that I'm not crazy about coleslaw, but it is what it is. All right, so I'm gonna put a little salt in there, a little pepper in there. I'm gonna put some more garlic, I'm gonna put some garlic powder in my shrimp. All right, I'm about to figure out where my, uh, forgive me. Figure out where my, uh, all right, so, now, if you was not cooking for yourself, you would use a different spoon for that, okay? You, you don't want to contaminate the stuff, but the way I look at it, 
All this stuff is going to the same place. All this stuff is going to the same place. Now, what I have noticed is that I feel like I'm using a lot of mayonnaise. But I like mayonnaise. If you don't like mayonnaise, you change it to however you would like to do it. Some people like a lot of mayonnaise. Some people don't. You change things according to how you feel like. And I think that's the good thing to know about anything. You change it to make it fit for you, to make it work for you. You can't always make something the way they say to make something. Make it work for you. If you feel like you ain't gonna like something, change it. Alright. So, I found my cord. And it's right here. So, I'm going to, hold on. now, I have, I'm not going to be able to cook that on the channel. I'm going to have to, uh, so I got my shrimp prepped got my coleslaw prep. I'm going to have to make a second video where I show you me cooking the salmon and stuff. Because I'm going to have to set up my stuff differently and make a second video. Sorry, guys. Bye.